Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray. You're watching Mixtress Video. So it occurs to me that this is something, it just just occurred to me that this is something that I should have done so many moons ago. So about, it was like 10 months ago, I posted a video that was pretty popular for my channel standards anyway, where um, I showed off that I I kind of confessed that I had bought a knockoff version of Modern Witch because I wanted to shuffle it. And a really kind commenter um, sent me the link that there's actually a German language version of Modern Witch that is an official licensed version of the deck. And it is um, on different cardstock. So what you're looking at here is this one here is the German language version, obviously. And I'm going to provide, I think you can possibly get it on this link here as well, I'm assuming. You can probably buy it directly from them, but I think I got it from Book Depository. So just so you can like see the comparison of the boxes, this one's the German language version is a magnetic closure box. And it has a soft cover guidebook. Here's what the, the You Are a Badass card looks like. And the cardstock is flexible. Like, I'll, you'll see the comparison here in a second when I take out the other deck. I just wanted to give you guys... I just realized, you know, I'm people are always asking me, like, about that German language version. And I'm always like, I don't remember. I think I posted a comment at some point with a link in it. Um, I have just now found the link again to the book depository version, which is the one that I bought. So I posted, I pinned the comment of, of the, you guys don't care, but I did that in the knockoff, whatever video that I posted. So hopefully people will see that pinned comment now because I get that question all the time and I'm like, I don't remember, I don't remember where I got it. Ah! Um, so I just realized, dude, if I were a real YouTuber, a real efficient professional YouTuber, I would just do an update video for you guys. So um, for those of y'all that have been with me for a while or you're here because you just saw that Modern Witch knockoff video that I posted 10 months ago, I did, I couldn't handle the terrible quality of that knockoff version and it made me just feel icky to use it. So I ended up gifting it to a friend. You know, I, I let her know like this is not, this is a knockoff version of the deck, but I want someone to get use out of this item. And she actually really liked it because she didn't have the original to compare it to. And it was just a gift to her. So I ended up gifting the knockoff deck. I, um, and I bought the German language version as soon as I knew that it existed. Um, and I prefer it in so many ways. Like I prefer the box, the fact that it's just this cute little magnetic closure box. I really like that. Um, I ended up, okay, let's just go ahead and actually get the cards out because that's what you guys are here for, right? I also ended up gifting my limited edition, the gold edition of this deck. I gifted to another friend, but I kept for myself this little, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's as far as like, it's useless as far as resellability because this actually isn't the limited edition version. This is my trimmed version that I just bought for 20 bucks, just regular edition. But I wanted to keep this because it was special. So I actually kept the special edition box. Anyway, I gifted my extra copy, the gilded version, because I didn't need it. But I do still keep the English language trimmed version. And it's in order right now. It's usually in order because I don't actually use it. Now, now I just use the German language version and I keep it in this. Thank you to Suren who gave me this gorgeous little pouch. Is this not the best? Perfect size. So just so you guys can see a comparison. So I trimmed, this is the German language version, but I did trim off the titles. I kind of wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had just trimmed it the way that I trimmed this one and left the titles on because I don't really like smaller decks and it would have been a, it would have maintained its super easy shuffle. It's, it's not hard to shuffle now, but it would have been even easier to shuffle if I had left the German titles on. At first they were distracting to me just because I don't speak German. I mean, I knew what all the cards were though, so I didn't need 
them to be in English. I wish I had kept the titles on. I'm thinking about actually buying another copy of the German version just so this time I can refrain from trimming the titles off. You guys, okay, just stupid side note. Um, I'm just thinking lately, I'm going to try to resist at least for the first like month or so that I have a deck trimming it from now on because sometimes I regret doing it. <laughs> I mean, like, not that this doesn't look bad, but anyway, just stupid side note. Okay, let's turn the automatic focus back on. Are you going to be nice to me today, phone? Okay, so here's the actual thing that you're here for. Comparing. So this is the original English language version of Modern Witch, and this is the German language version. It is significantly thinner, like fully like, let's see, since this one's in order, all the way to the nine of cups, <laughs> from the nine of cups on, it's almost like half a deck thinner, almost. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So super, super lots thinner. The, let's actually just, I mean, if we're going to. We're going to compare. We might as well compare just as far as quality of cardstock here. Compare the actual fool to the fool. Color reproduction is great. This um, German version is slightly less of a warm tone with the colors, but as you can see, it's kind of hard to tell, but the super, super shininess of the original English language version, it's not quite that shiny. And much thinner, of course, on this German language version. This is like one of those like German core, super nice. It's like AGM cardstock, almost. It feels the same to me. Um, so like, what is an AGM deck? Um, the... Vision Quest Tarot. Um, crap. I think that's the only one I have that's an AGM deck. But for those of you that know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, you can shuffle this one. Yes. So this is all just to update you guys. I didn't keep that knockoff deck. It just made me feel icky. Um, but I did gift it. So someone is getting use out of it at least. Um, because when something, I firmly believe that when something is in existence in the world, it should be used. Like, I shouldn't have bought it. You know, I can't take that back. I supported a knockoff deck on purpose. And I wish I hadn't done that. And I won't do that ever again. But um, once it's in my hands, you know, I think gifting it was the only option. Like, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't just throw it away. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I still feel guilty about doing that. Anyway, so this is just to let you guys know. I will put the link below. There are probably, I'm sure that there are other places to get it. There's a Reddit thread that is about this deck. So I'm sure that there's, people have shared links on that thread. I only read like the introductory post and they were actually talking about me in the post. They were like, they didn't actually say my name, but they were just like, the, I found out about this through a YouTuber that was posting about a knockoff deck. And then someone commented about the German language version. And that's what made me realize because I was Googling it to see what the link was to get the deck. And that's what made me realize, oh my God, not enough people actually know about this. Like I assumed, I always assumed that when people tell me about something, I'm the last to know. But I just realized, oh my God, more people need to know about this German language version of the deck because it is on amazing cardstock and apparently this particular publisher um does i mean they do this often where they will they'll have official licensed versions of um decks that you know american decks and they always use this kind of cardstock so just so you can see you guys need to see it shuffle right and this is the one that, like, I use for clients and stuff. So 
So yeah, as you can see, shuffles like a dream. And actually, before I trimmed it, it was even better. Just because of the general, like, you know, the whatever. <laughs> What's the word that I'm thinking of? The science of, like, you know, when cards are bigger, they're a little bit easier to shuffle until they get to a point where they're too big, you know? But yeah, they're great. They are great. This is the perfect deck, honestly. And because I have a habit of gifting this deck, this I do kind of want to buy the German version again and just not trim off the titles this time and maybe just gift this copy to someone. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. You guys, I'm in a... I tend to do this thing for those of y'all that watch my videos on a regular basis and you care about this shit, for those of y'all that are just here to see the German version of this deck, you can click off at this point. But um, I've realized that like I go through these phases of just like intense acquisition and then I'll cycle around to like intense getting rid of shit. Do you guys do that? Like I just came out of a phase where I'd only acquired like three or four tarot decks all year in 2021 and then in the last like two or three months I've ordered and they've all been like pre-orders or kickstarters and stuff like that so I haven't actually received any of them but in the last like three months since April I've ordered like five or six different decks and it's crazy I'm just in intense acquisition mode and I think part of the reason why it feels insatiable to me right now is that I keep doing all these pre-orders and kickstarters which means I'm not actually like being able to scratch that itch I'm ordering things but I'm not receiving them so I'm just I don't know just a little personal update for you guys I'm in intense acquisition mode at the moment so like I don't know what the deal is and I don't know why I even mentioned it but here we are I'm going to go ahead and put this one I just kind of use as a reference deck now. Um, I don't like, I've kind of made my peace a little bit with this cardstock. <laughs> like, I still can't shuffle it, but I kind of enjoy that, like, the cards are like bent and they're sort of peeling up on the edges, and I still like the hot pink that I edged it in. So I will still actually. I still use this deck because I actually prefer it with the titles on it, even though I don't need the titles. Like, this is the first deck I've ever trimmed the titles off of. It's the only deck I've ever trimmed the titles off of. And I don't need the titles because this is a straight-up RWS deck. I don't need the titles. One thing that's super awesome about... Um, actually, I gifted my guidebook. Because the last copy, when I gave away the knockoff copy to a friend, I gave her one of the guidebooks since I had two copies of the regular official version of the deck. So I gave her a guidebook. And then when I gifted the other copy, my limited edition copy, to another friend, I couldn't give it to her without the guidebook. I just couldn't do it. So I sacrificed. I don't have the guidebook anymore. The only guidebook I have is the one to the German language version, which I don't read German. So it's not helpful to me personally, but... Here's, here's what that looks like, just so you know. I do have, like, one of my best friends is, she speaks German, so. Someday, when we're drunk, hanging out at my house, I'll get this out and be like, read this guidebook to me. Um, I'm sure that'll happen. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I am out of it. I am sleep deprived this week, and... You guys, lately I've just realized apparently this is also babbling hour, so thank you for being here with me if you're still here. Um, so the solstice was this weekend, beautiful sun card, and I spent the entire weekend just like my aunt is out of town and my aunt is kind of a kind of a rich white lady. We really are kind of a working class um, family, but my aunt was able to make it in the world, in the academic world. She's a professor and like blah, blah, blah. She actually, anyway, all of that is just to say she has a pool and she lives in my neighborhood. Like it's, if I were to walk there, it would take me like 10 or 15 minutes. But since 
when I go over to use her pool, I am taking a bunch of crap with me, like a cooler with fear in it and like, you know, all that stuff so I don't walk. But anyway, it's less than a five minute drive away from my house. And she was out of town this last weekend, which meant that, I mean, she would always be fine with me going over there whenever, but there's just like a class thing in our family. Like I feel uncomfortable just going over there whenever because I feel like I'm just like, you know, the trashy niece that's just using her pool all the time. Anyway, like, okay, apparently I'm getting into some psyche shit with you guys today. Holy crap. So anyway, all that is just to say I spent the whole weekend swimming at her house because she wasn't there. And I just soaked up as much of that time and soaked up the sun. And it was the perfect thing to do for a super hot solstice weekend. And it was great. But I'm just like, my body is worn out from all of that. <laughs> from swimming and all the sun. You know how the sun makes you dumb. I enjoy that about the sun, though. Because I feel like it's like giving you permission to not think too hard. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, what was the point of that fucking story? I feel like there was a point in the beginning and then I completely lost the thread. That's where I'm at right now, guys. So this is just apparently a little hangout session where I talk about shit and shuffle the modern witch. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Oh, I was going to say, the reason why I started that little bullshit was... Okay, so I worked at a public library for um, over 15 years now. I think it's going on 17 this year. I think it'll be 17 years this year. Um, is that right? 2004? Yeah, so 17 years in September I will have worked at the same public library. I love my job and it's part-time which I can sustain because I'm autistic. And did you know that 85% of autistic people are unemployed. So I'm actually, or I don't actually know if that statistic, what that statistic entails. Like, does it mean full time? Because I would be considered in that 85% because I don't work full time. But anyway, all of that, just to say parenthetical within parenthetical, that's, that's how I am. Y'all that listen to Mixtress Radio or one of my patrons, you're used to me talking like this, but I don't do this on my YouTube very often. <laughs> where I just babble uncontrollably, but apparently I'm doing that right now. Thank you guys for watching. So I, um, I've had a part-time job for all these years and, um, I, I've always said like, it's been kind of a crazy, like, I don't have a consistent schedule. Like I do work 20 hours a week, but it's kind of all over the place as to when I work. And it's been that way since the beginning. And I've always said, I could just have a consistent schedule so I can plan for it. If like every Monday was the same, every Tuesday was the same, et cetera, et cetera. I always thought I wanted that. And then I got it. This last month, it's been the exact same schedule every single week. I work the same hours every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, and then I have Friday through Sunday off. Doesn't that sound like a dream? It sounds like a dream to me as I'm saying it out loud, but I've just been experiencing it and I don't like it. It's actually wearing me the fuck out to work four days in a row. It's wearing me out and I haven't been producing as much YouTube content for you guys because the way that it usually worked before was I would work, it would usually be on a, a somewhat of a of a two week rotation where I would work, um, because I am on a two week pay schedule. So it would work that like most of my days in a pay period would kind of be clustered together in one week. So I would have, I would kind of cycle between either having only one day off one week. And then the next week I'd have like four days off and I would always be super tired the week that I was working more, but the week that I had more days off was when I would do like more YouTube videos, more podcasts, content, you know, work more on my radio show, all those other things that I do or my tarot readings. I do more of my tarot readings um, then. And yeah, so 
I've just been super worn out because I've had a consistent schedule. And it's like, what, what is that about? That doesn't make any sense. I've been getting, I've been pulling so many sevens lately, you guys. I'm surprised this isn't just a bunch of sevens right here. Um, so I've just been really tired because it's not working for me. I, I've, I think part of it is I need to have more than one weekday off a week, you know? So it's better for me if I can have like a Wednesday and a Friday. I think now I'm thinking that my perfect schedule, were I to have a consistent schedule, if it's not just that I can't handle having a consistent schedule, which is weird because I've always conceptualized myself. There's another fucking seven. Since I've always conceptualized myself as a person that does want routine because I'm neurodivergent. So isn't that part of our thing that we want routine? But I kind of like every week being like looking at my schedule and kind of like figuring it out as I go. Like, how is this week going to go? Apparently I like that. But at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for listening. I need to get ready for work. Speaking of work. And I have a, a day today where I have to be, I have to be on, you know, and I really wish I could call in today, but it's really not that kind of thing. I really can't today. Um, so I've got to be on. Thank you guys for listening. I do have, um, I don't know. I want to put more stuff out there for you guys. It's just right now I'm feeling like, when do I have the time? When do I have the time? Because when I have weekends off, which is really nice when I have weekends off, it's, you know, family time. You know, I hang out with my Michael. He's my Knight of Cups. And so we do things together, which means I don't have time alone, which means I don't funnel. I use time alone to funnel into my creative projects, you know? And so that's why there's been less of that happening because I have less of that kind of time because I need weekday time for that, you know? I don't know. And there's, can you guys see? Okay, let me, you guys can't see. Do you see how gorgeous of a day it is? Look at that sky. I feel like Ferris Bueller right now because now I have to get ready and go to work, but I'm looking at this sky and I don't want to do it. Sorry, you know, my screen's there, so it's not quite as beautiful to you because you have to look through the screen. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for listening to my rambling. If you are somehow still here when you only came for the Modern Witch, um, check the link below. I will put the link in the description as to where you can get this on Book Depository at least. Um, also, just Google around. You can find that Reddit thread. Um, the person in the Reddit thread was discussing where they got this deck, which was some different place. Um, it was like the UK version of Book Depository, I think, but I only spent like 30 bucks on it and it was completely 100% worth it to get this deck in a more shuffable format. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching. Y'all are the best.